Our local 10, a painting was unveiled at an elementary school in Miami today to honor Florida's first African American teacher of the year. And a local 10 employee had a hand in the creation of that painting. Local 10 news reporter Nikki Mohan joins us live in Miami with more details. Janice and Eric, I'll tell you all about the artist in just a minute. But the woman this school is named for, Lenora B. Smith, actually lived in this neighborhood when she was a little girl, and she was one of 35 families kicked out of the neighborhood so that this school could be built. It was during segregation times, and she was not allowed to attend it. She went on to be a school secretary, a teacher, then a school principal, then Florida Teacher of the Year. Now the kids who attend this school can see this very special portrait of her every day. A very special unveiling at Lenora B. Smith Elementary School. <laughs> Two portraits of its namesake, Lenora Braden Smith, Florida's first African American Teacher of the Year. Named after her in 2003, the school never had a picture of her. Her college sorority, Zeta Phi Beta, adopted the school and made it happen. They were lacking a big portrait of their founder, and they need to know who this person is, what's important to her. Ms. Smith was recognized on the highest level for her incomparable skills as Florida State Teacher of the Year for 1969 to 1970. <coughs> Students honored Ms. Smith with essays and accolades. Her daughter Alexis, now also a teacher, was so touched. Similar to the movie Hidden Figures, where you had to be almost 10 times better than the average in order to get ahead. Miami-Dade School Board member Dr. Dorothy Bendross Mindenhall grew up with Smith's family in this community. She remembers when children like them could not attend the school now named for her because of segregation. In fact, they were kicked out of their homes so it could be built. I am happy because they're honoring her again, which she should be honored again but more so for the children. They don't know who she is. Now the school's 400 plus predominantly minority student body can see her face and know her story. And what a story indeed. Now, her connection to Channel 10, well, a retired Channel 10 -er is actually related to Lenora B. Smith and came to a uh, local 10 artist, Lloyd Windham, with a newspaper clipping of her and he created that portrait. He didn't really want to be part of all the hoopla here today. He let his work speak for itself and now these children will see that beautiful portrait, two beautiful portraits of her in front of this school every single day. I'm live in Alapata, Nikki Mohan, Local 10 News.